Welcome back to the inside of my Forester. So, I just got done, finished up, did everything under the hood, got the wastegate installed. I haven't done anything special. I just put in the new wastegate. Um, hopefully, the spring pressure in that one is good enough for me to do exactly what I need to do, and I'm not going to be over boosting at high speeds, we'll say. I'm not going to specify even though I may have already done that. So I have my access port over me all, and I am going to be watching this and looking at boost. Now I do not want to over boost. If I do over boost, I'm gonna get a fuel cut, but this is a really great way for me to check my boost, my min, my max, how everything is gonna be looking on here. So I'm gonna keep this in a place that I probably won't be able to see because the sun and F me, God. Well, for now, it's just going to have to live over here in my lap. Well, let's get it started up and look at it. Mmm, negatives. Good. Well, my car didn't blow up, so we're in the green. Let me get this warmed up a little bit. Alrighty, let's start our journey and see what our boost control is going to be. Sorry this is on my lap, but I really don't have anywhere to put this. Ever since I got rid of my little arm thing when I did my radio install, yeah, I don't, I'm, it's just so clean in here, I, I, it's my lap. Now with this tune, I should be sitting at, I believe, a max of 18 PSI. I really can't remember, and I can't check, because Cobb has gotten rid of this, uh, this tune. So I can't look at any of the stuff on their website anymore because they don't carry it because they don't like me. All right, so I'm cruising about 40 miles an hour. I'm gonna do just a little pull just to kind of see where we're at. Looks like I'm hovering at, let's see, negative six on the boost. So let's give it a little squeeze here. That's a little high. I only went about half throttle there, so not too bad, but not good. Uh, let's do another quick one. It's about, about 40. show you I'm still at uh, proper speeds so that's good and I really do not want to go 0 to 60 as much as everyone likes to see those because Subarus at least this year are not happy campers when it comes to that much traction and things breaking so everything I'm gonna be doing is at least rolling I have no idea where I'm going is the freeway around here somewhere I think I'm ready for the freeway. I did a little pull. So, wide open throttle. I'm not getting any sorts of uh, uh, fuel cuts. Doesn't look like I'm over boosting. I'm sitting 16 on the boost, so that's good. I think I should uh, go a little bit faster. Cheetos! We'll do a nice little pull up to 60. Get out of this intersection and turn left. Okie okay, doubt. Let's see what we got going up here. Felt good. Felt strong. 16 PSI, my friends. Woo! So that's pretty good. I didn't overboost. I didn't fuel cut. So far, so good. But like I said in my first video, uh, yeah, that's not exactly my issues. My issues have been once I go past uh, the speed limit, cough, cough. Um, so I'm gonna have to find a freeway to figure out if that's still happening. Speak of the devil, that looks like an on-ramp. I am dead serious right now, I'm lost. I have no idea where I'm at, I'm bad with directions, and I don't go out often. Uh, where am I going? This is not an on-ramp. Where am I? 
So because it looks like low speeds work quite well, I am gonna do high speeds. So let me get on the interstate real quick and let's find out. Oh yeah! Okay, we're going 60, it's loud, let's do this. is quite unfortunate so after all of that work and all that money absolutely nothing has changed except for the fact I can actually change out the spring so I'm gonna try changing out the spring if that doesn't work then we're just gonna tune it so it accepts more than 18 pounds before cutting because I just don't care anymore so before I go and buy a $30 spring that's a little bit lighter to put in there which doesn't make any sense. This is supposed to work. This is supposed to fit. This is supposed to do so many things that it doesn't. Before I do that, I am gonna check. And the way to check that is to take the little clip off the bottom of that so you can pop this up. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be backing this out. So instead of having that proper uh, back pressure, whatever you wanna call it, to where you're in a little bit more and you kind of pull this out just slightly, what I'm gonna do is the opposite. I'm actually going to twist this so it comes out and it's gonna be slightly open. So when I do wide open throttle, it gives more chance for that uh, boost pressure to bleed off. If I'm still getting over boosting with this already cracked open, then a, a different spring isn't gonna help. So let's find out. Is it ever gonna get there? So now that I have this out, I'm gonna start spinning it so it loosens up. So I need to start spinning it this way. That's one, two, three, four, let's do five. This isn't supposed to be perfect. This is just getting me to a point where I can tell if it is going to work or not work. There. So I'm gonna pop this in, see how this is open now. It's nowhere near where it was when it was closed. This is just to see, this is just for testing. I'm not gonna drive around on this for a long period of time. Even though there's nothing wrong with that, it's just gonna take so much longer for that boost pressure to get where it needs to be. Okay. So that's in place, I'm gonna get the clip on, hopefully not lose it, but now you can see that's open, and this is going to give me um, a little bit more bleeding force so I know whether or not to change out the spring. All right, so we're gonna go for a little bit of a drive here, and when I'm driving around, I can kind of hear that uh, little flapper rattling around since it's so loose, there's no pressure putting on it, but we'll see what we can do. and my god that was so slow to get up and build that boost that was crazy well that did not go very well as you can see I still got fuel cut I even hit 19.8 psi damn it all right guys it looks like we have an issue and it's something called boost creep I was really hoping I didn't have to spend $200 on something, but I did. And then I didn't want to cut into it, and I did, just to figure out it's not going to change anything. So, boost creep. Basically, this is just happening because I am wide open throttle, and there's too much boost pressure building up no matter. You can port it and make it completely go away, or you can go the route that... I'm just going to do, I'm getting an external wastegate so I don't ever have to worry about this. So stay tuned for a follow-up video where I install that and make my car even faster by trying to make it faster?